no, no, no. Oh no, what did they do? <sighs> I thought Ship House was gone. I'm gonna be honest, man. Holy shit. Uh, Ship House 24 7, big map Blitz, which is just TDM on large maps. Bloodshed is Assault TDM. Carnage hardcore playlist featuring hardcore game mode variants. I could have swore Carnage like specifically only had smaller maps. I guess I'm wrong though. Uh, we're here on some more Vanguard. Oh yeah, the double XP is gone. I, I, I got as much XP as I could. I'm fine. That shit sucks. All right, so uh, I've made a good amount of progress. Hold on, wait, I have to turn my audio back up. Yeah, look at that shit. One. That's been my master volume the entire weekend. Bump it up to 20 so people can actually hear it because I literally don't listen to the game. The game is just so loud, explosive, and I don't really need to hear any of the footsteps anyway. So I did the same thing over on Modern Warfare, even though you got, you know, rhino feet over there. Uh, so I'm working on the bar now. So I basically have everything in the game done except the three sniper rifles, uh, three more assault rifles, and uh, I'm doing the Panzer Shrek and stuff right now. And one of them is also bugged. And depending on how long that bloodthirsty shit's gonna take with the three line i should be done before caldera comes out if i don't slack or something who knows things could happen it is what it is yeah i would really be stressing about that shit but i really learned like i i just gotta you gotta go with it day by day fuck it this whole shit where i'm sitting here thinking like 30 years into the future on day-to-day -day basis it's just <sighs> shit's bad one day at a time, man. Uh, so I finished the automaton before. Oh, I also tried to use my STG a little bit more. And the weird thing about my STG is that not only... I, I found out that it's actually more broken than I had anticipated. I tried to get some kills with it to clear out these challenges. And my long shot stopped counting at 30 for some reason. I, I don't know why. I literally... I had a game where I was literally getting like... It, it was at least 40. No exaggeration. Like at least 40 long shots. And I was already at 30. And it didn't count a single one of them. Damn, I have to melee. What the fuck is this guy? What is this? Dude, the bar has been one of the easiest weapons I had ever used to go and do all this because I, I don't know what it was, but all of the builds that I've had of this thing is just, they're insane. This one's not as good because it's not as hard hitting and the recoil is a little weird to do these moving kills with this. Oh, I just realized though, the, the carnage mode, since it's back, I could probably definitely complete the launcher overall kills then. Yeah, because everybody knows how hard it is to roll like a hardcore shipment or hardcore uh, DOS house. It's always just hard. Hardcore Berlin. Why is it always Berlin? I thought the intro burst would be harder, but honestly, I mean, besides the one build, what was it? It wasn't the hip fire build. People were telling me the hip fire shit was bad. It really wasn't. Not on shipment. I was literally walking around just one bursting people, not even sprinting. Literally just regular walking. My weapon ready the entire time. And just one bursting people. Just straight into their lap. So the devs are back from their uh, vacation. Uh, and yeah, obviously, sorry for not uploading yesterday. But Sundays, I've been trying to take those off a little bit more. I talked to my family about this shit. They were like, yeah, it's about like uh, 8.30 at night. How many more hours are you going to be up tonight? You know, like, I was like, uh, I'll get back home. Probably like nine more hours. And they all just like looked at me like I was stupid. What time did you get up? Uh, like, you know, like 10 a.m. What, you only sleep like five hours a night? Sometimes. Sometimes I'll sleep 12. I don't know. It all really depends. And I mean, uh, like whatever Alexis is doing, it's just, I don't know. Oh my God, dude. What was that? Really gonna let him kill me like Good. Good. Right, there we go. Got the 100 headshots. So now I don't have to worry about actually hitting him in the head. So crazy to go and level these things up after doing like the zombies method on it because just all these camos just pop up every single game so long as you're actually paying attention. Hey, nothing is worse than having a game where you pop off and you were using the wrong class the entire time. It's happened more times than I'd like to admit. Oh, spawn behind him. No, I had them all. I had them all, dude. I don't need headshots anymore. I don't know why I'm still shooting him in the head. See, if it was that other build that I was using, no, they would have both evaporated. Guaranteed two tap. There's no way that guy's shot is just that bad. It's just not, that's not real. Question, if I'm sprinting at somebody, slide and hit him with my gun, does that count as a kill while moving? Oh man. No, why 
Why would you do this to me? I already have a gold, so I, I... Guys, no, 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 no. This is the greatest lobby I've ever been in. These guys are the worst players ever. Uh, what's next? I literally spend days upon days of just getting my ass whooped. Not even top of the leaderboards doing these stupid ass challenges half the time. To be blessed with a lobby like this, after all I've been through, I think I deserve a few more like this. I mean, look at my team. All right, so yeah, what, what I was saying about the STG, that STG was busted for whatever reason. It doesn't, it, it obviously it doesn't track the first, you know, uh, two categories. That's the case for a lot of the people that have the bug STG or M1 Grand. And my M1 Grand is 70 and everything on it is done except the first two. So this one isn't nearly as bug. But my STG on the other hand, I, I don't know what's up with it. It doesn't count these ones. Uh, I, I think some of these other ones do. I haven't maxed them all out, but I also don't know if they're all counting or not. I, I really don't. Tomaton gold, Itraburst gold. We just got the golden bar, B-A-R, whatever. And now we're on to the AS44. I deal for close to mid-range engagements, so that sounds pretty good in like DOS out. Uh, all right, let's check out the golden bar. I mean, the coverage is really nice, to be honest, so. And I actually had fun with the bar. I mean, obviously, you know, pre-leveled and everything like that through zombies, but this was probably one of the smoothest experiences I ever had getting a weapon to gold. It was super, super easy. I started this weapon late last night, got off, and was just like, yeah, I'll just play it for the video, and I go and clear it, so easy peasy. I mean, obviously, everything has to line up with a nice lobby or whatever, but well, look at the progression. We went from 30-something to getting all the rest of it, over 60-plus moving kills. And the headshots, right? So AS44, and so we go and look over at this. We need hip fire kills with the 400-millimeter barrel, 30-cal Russian short 60-round mag, and steady. I have a feeling I don't have that 60-round. Oh, no, I do. And steady. Okay, now we can build the rest of it the way that we want. Uh, so if we're going for hip fires, recoil booster, Carver 4 grip, because this thing is going to kick. MJ, pine tar for even more control. Surplus to get it the rest of the way there. Even though we don't have double XP anymore, surplus helps a good amount. Uh, probably go with remove stock and then we'll go slate reflector. We'll see how that goes. Let's try to run one more game. Close range kills, the 10 attachment kills, and the hip fire kills are all going to be done simultaneously this way. I do have XP tokens available, but they're literally only regular XP tokens. And at this point, I'm like level 800 something i don't whatever <laughs> wait this is kind of nuts yeah, this thing will probably be crazy and hardcore if i did it but i mean the maps it's whatever people were telling me dude don't do dos house all the time reducing your xp blah 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 it's 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 about the challenges i don't give a shit about the xp anymore unless i run into some sort of issue where surplus is not enough or, or whatever i'm completing all of my challenges before i get to the final two challenges i just feel like i'm gonna get 10 levels by the time i've cleared everything else anyway 60 makes the most sense Thing sounds like an LNG. What the? F <laughs> it's just a skull too when you kill him with it. I feel like I'm back on Modern Warfare shipment now. It's just way better. Shipment has grown on me. It felt a little weird at first, but honestly, I'm pretty used to it now. At least it makes sense. I know what's gonna happen most of the time. Modern Warfare, you just had the hope. Dude, I saw Dismo's video on free for all. I might honestly, after this, after the atomic grind is over, yeah, I might be chilling in free for all, man. The Blitz 18 man free for all is just sniping in them. That shit'll be fun. There'll be way more people in the free for all than usual. You know what I mean? The free for all content could be at an all time high, to be honest. Could probably run into some of the most unique individuals individuals in a free-for-all playlist. It can be the sweatiest, weirdest people in the world. Some of the most casual, interesting characters you'll ever come across. I'm uh, kind of wondering where that big boy patch is to fix all the, uh, the weapons that aren't working. Balance changes, perhaps? I'm telling you, if all the perks and everything are swapping over from this game over to Warzone, Warzone might be- Warzone's gonna be a mess. I have a feeling. I hope Caldera is good, and I'm sure it can get better, but I feel like on release- we're gonna have some problems and the entire time people are just gonna be talking about that map versus uh verdansk days anyway i miss verdansk bring back verdansk and then after caldera is gone if warzone is even still alive if it manages to survive it hey maybe it's not gonna be as bad as i'm thinking it could be but you know the aesthetic of the game along with other shit other factors other games what was that look at look at the recoil look. <laughs> the initial accuracy is, uh, is stunning i i do I have to like just hard drag it to my left? Yeah, maybe. 
So I got multiple people that I know that are at that point where they basically can't do anything else. They can just sit around and just wait for the camos and they are pretty miserable, which is why I'm going to learn how to cook after this. I think one of the first plates I'm going to learn how to cook. No, I'm not doing no Jeb's Cafe right now, man. Fuck off. I'm going to learn how to make a great spaghetti dish and try to cook like some good ramen or something. Alexis really likes ramen. But like inspired though. I'm not like frustrated and like want to stop playing video games. I'm just inspired to learn now. Maybe this is what happens after you do a few years of camo grind. I don't know, but I, it's doing something for me. This is, it's insane. They always give us this cool choice of like, hey, do you want play of the game or final kill cam? And then <laughs> neither of them work. Go oh, Mr. Blonde. Look at that. 13 captures. What a monster. Yeah, I'm just going to destroy the rest of these. I'll probably be able to finish this AS44 within like a couple hours, then move on to the NZ and then Volksturm. Uh, and in that process, I should be able to shoot a bunch of things down and then onto the sniper rifles, I guess. And we still have to sit around and just wait and hope that they fix the M1 Grand, Type 11, and the STG. The Type 11, I'm pretty sure nobody has gold yet. The Type 11 is just fucked up. Oh yeah, and the Panzerfaust is really messed up. <sighs> yeah, I, I really hope they fix it, please. 